to STL TV Live. I'm Ivy Hartman. And joining me in the studio now is Donna Northcott. She is the founding artistic director of St. Louis Shakespeare. She's here to tell us more about St. Louis Shakespeare and how it all came about because many of us are familiar with the Shakespeare Festival that takes yes. place in the park, but this is something entirely different. St. Louis Shakespeare has been around 28 seasons. Right. So talk about, you've been a, the longevity, but where it all started. Uh, it started after I studied at, studied Shakespeare for a sun, summer in London years ago and came back to St. Louis. No one was doing Shakespeare, so I decided to do it myself. And we did our first production in the old College of Pharmacy Auditorium. Oh, yeah. And where exit stage right meant go out onto the fire escape. <laughs> um, and it kind of surprises me that we're still doing this 28 years later. And but you guys are, where are you guys performing? We're at the Grandel Theater, which is down in the Midtown Arts District. Perfect. That's oh, a, it's a beautiful space. Yeah, a nice setting yes. and a nice, of course, in the Arts District. Right. Better place. So you guys perform only Shakespeare then? No, we primarily perform Shakespeare, but we do a four-show season with Shakespeare. And frequently we'll have at least one other production in the season which is by another classical playwright or it's classically themed. Uh, this year our next production coming up in early August is The Complete Works of William Shakespeare Abridged. So it's a fairly modern script but very ridiculously funny comedy. Three actors do all 37 of Shakespeare's plays and the sonnets in under 90 minutes. Oh my goodness. So, so are all of the um, plays in that 90 minute time frame or do oh, we yes. look at okay well actually it's 36 plays in act one and Hamlet in act two I like <laughs> a little course. more time for Hamlet <laughs> amazing so how many shows do you do throughout a 12 month period does your season go for 12 months um yes we're spread out over the entire season we'll do two productions or in the summer one in the early fall and then another one in the spring and then we also have a spin-off company, Magic Smoking Monkey Theater, which does kind of odd late night parodies of pop culture hits. Uh, we do those at the Regional Arts Commission in U City. You're very busy. Keeps me out of trouble. Now, do you ever have the two shows running concurrently or do you try to space Generally it out? not because it's just too much of a drain on our manpower and advertising to try to do two at once, but they pretty much fall one right after the other. Talk about your manpower to put on these productions because some it's, of our viewers may be hearing about this and being interested in being uh, involved. We always welcome new people who want to come out and either get involved in a technical or a design aspect or come out and audition for the productions. In, as a matter of fact, our current production of Coriolanus, the actor playing the title role, is someone working with us for the first time. So we're always very open to getting new people involved. Wonderful. Um, so Coriolanus is the yes. first show of, yes. of the season. When will you guys open? Uh, that has been running for one weekend and okay. we perform through July 29th at the Grandel. Then we have a week off and uh, the Complete Works of William Shakespeare Abridged performs August 10 through 19. Mm -hmm. Then we get a little break and come back August or September 28th with Midsummer Night's Dream, which is just a very fast-paced, silly romantic comedy. What is the best way for people to get tickets? We offer uh, advanced single tickets through brownpapertickets.com. Okay. And you can also just get tickets at the box office, which opens one hour prior to showtime. Okay, which showtime curtains go up at? Uh, uh, 8 o'clock on okay. Friday and Saturday, 2 o'clock on Sunday, and 7.30 on Thursday. All right, there are the dates of the upcoming performances. We're going to get into some of the other performances you might be looking for later on this year when we come back in a minute. But you can look for them online at stlshakespeare.org. Again, they're in their, St. Louis Shakespeare is in their 28th season, and Donna is the founding artistic director so Obviously I started this very very young that's of yes. course <laughs> <laughs> and you know has this did you think it would have longevity that it's had oh the original intent was just to do one production and get it out of my system and we finished doing 12th night our first show many years ago and the actors and everyone working on it said well what are we doing next and what are we doing next well we'll tell you when we come back with donna because we've got her here for another four minutes with us i know you're excited i am so remember to uh, to get excited about st louis and what we have to offer and the best way to keep uh, apprised of all the great things going on around st louis is to follow stl tv friend us on facebook follow us on twitter or subscribe to our youtube channel so you can always be in the know Plus, you can always watch us streaming live through our website, stltv.net. We'll back, we're back with more right after this.